Hold up. Don't leave this video. The internet needs it. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nick and welcome back to my channel. So I don't know about you guys, but I am an avid movie goer. I'm at the movie theater at least once a week, if not twice. It's kind of a problem, but hey, I could be spending my money on worse things, am I right? Now, because I go to the movies so often, I've compiled a pretty good list of movie theater hacks, if you will. If you like going to the movies or if you hate going to the movies, watch this video because maybe I'll make your experience way more enjoyable. So without further ado, let's just get started. Okay, so the first few I'm gonna go through are just tips I feel everyone should know. They're not really hacks, they're just simple things you should know about the movie theater that people might not know. Yeah. You've read too. Oh, yeah. Is this guy ever gonna shut up? Mm, please watch the movie. Oh. One, make sure you get a rewards card for whatever your theater is. I don't know what it is everywhere else, but in Canada we have Cineplex scene cards for most of our theaters because our theaters are Cineplex. Now usually with the rewards cards, they have some sort of point system that lets you get discounts on snacks, which we don't want discounts on snacks. You can collect points, which can get you free snacks, free movies, free whatever. And I think it's every thousand points you get is a free movie. And it's not that hard to get points because every time you go to a movie, you pretty much get a hundred. Also with the rewards card, make your friends get them because when they get them, you guys can also scan their card when you go. You click the little extra card button and scan theirs and it gets both you guys double the points. So, so say you go to the movies with three friends, with three friends and you scan each of their cards, you just got like four or 500 points. That's like halfway to a free movie. Who doesn't want that? This is a corporate platinum card. It has no limit. The next tip I have is just a tip for Trying to skip as many lines as you can because nobody wants to sit in lines for a long ass time and the theater is famous for that. So say you're running late or you're in a hurry or you just don't feel like waiting in a line, skip the movie ticket line, whether it's at the little kiosk or the main whatever you want to call it. At the snack station thing, whatever you want to call that, you can buy your movie tickets right there. Some people know this, some people don't, but like you're going to stand in line if you're going to get snacks anyway. You might as well buy your movie ticket there as well, right? Third tip I feel like you should know at the theater is when you buy butter for your popcorn or they ask if you want butter on your popcorn, if you ask them to layer it, they will put like a scoop of popcorn in your bag, butter, another scoop, butter, another scoop, butter, and then you have consistent buttery corn throughout your entire movie. Who wouldn't want that? Let me say this. Is there anything better than butter? Now, this is where I'm getting into the really good hacks that I've just come across or figured out from being at the movies every fucking week. So the first one is popcorn sizes. Now, if you're just getting popcorn for yourself, like uh, odds are you're gonna get a small. It's enough popcorn, I think, right? Well, don't buy that small popcorn, buy a regular size popcorn. Regular and the small are quite a distinct size difference. You're getting much more popcorn in the regular size than the small one, and it's only 30 cents difference. If you're not doing that, what are you doing? Next is for all those buttery corn people who love butter on their popcorn. Like I said previously, you can pay for it, get it layered, do whatever you want, but you're still paying for it. A lot of people don't realize there's a butter dispenser in the hallways. But lots of people say, oh, oh, the butter in the hallway is different. The butter in the hallway is just oil. Well, I'm here to tell you, my friends, it's the same thing. You can either pay for your butter or you can just do it yourself for free. And a bonus tip about this is when you're getting your popcorn, if you wanna butter it, if you're gonna butter it yourself in the hallway, ask for an extra bag. They'll give you a little brown bag with your normal bag of popcorn. And then while you're in the hallway, you just dump half your popcorn in that little brown bag and then butter half your popcorn and then layer it on with more butter as you put the popcorn back in your regular bag from the um, small bag. Genius. You can never have too much butter. Now, if you don't like plain old butter popcorn or just plain old popcorn, fun fact, the movie theater has seasoning packets. Now, the first one you get is free. You can just order it with your popcorn. But if you forget or you want an extra one, you have to pay for it. Here's what I figured out. If you need an extra one or you forget one and you're in the theater and you're like, damn, this popcorn's bland or damn, I need more seasoning, walk up to the snack kiosk where you would get the seasonings and play stupid. Be like, hey, hey you guys have like seasoning in your popcorn? And then the worker's gonna think, hmm, they didn't know this. This is their first seasoning. It's free. And there you get free popcorn seasoning. This is a simple little tip. It's kind of rude, 
but not really. I don't care who you are. If you're in a theater, you like to put your feet on the chair in front of you, right? But you can't do that if someone's in front of you, and that's pretty rude. So, tip that I found works very well for keeping the seats in front of you empty. If the theater's fairly empty when you go in, put your feet on the seats in front of you while everyone else is coming in because they're gonna look at your feet and be like, oh, their feet are up on that chair. I don't wanna sit there. And you get the comfortability of having your feet out the entire movie. You're welcome. My face, out of my face. This is all me up in here. The next tip is another one that's gonna help you save a little bit of money at the movies. And that is not paying for a water bottle. But you don't want a soda or you don't want a icy or a slushy or whatever. You just want a simple bottle of water. Don't get a bottle of water, my friend. Ask for a cup of water. One, it's free. Two, it's free. Three, it's free. And you let the toilet seat up, you bastard! <laughs> Another drink tip, and also a line skipping tip. You know how in most movie theaters there's the big thing in the middle for like your popcorn and all that stuff? There's often like side kiosks. In my movie theater we have one for pretzels and frozen yogurt, or there's one for pizza and fries and whatever you want. Oftentimes, there's no lineup in those lines. So if all you're getting at the theater is a drink when you go, go to one of those instead of the main one in the middle because odds are you're not gonna have to wait in line as long. And you can get your drink quickly and peacefully and head on into your movie. And the last hack that I have for you is you don't gotta be on time for the movie. Everyone knows there's way too many previews at the beginning of movies. If you're running late or you don't feel like sitting through a bunch of previews, Here's my tip for you. The movie doesn't actually start until 15 minutes after the said time. So if your movie says it starts at 7.45, it's not actually starting until 8 o'clock. 7.45 is when the previews begin. So yeah, those are the best tips and tricks I have for you to make the movies way better. I hope it helps you save some money and make your whole movie experience just way better. I mean, and the weird thing is, I didn't see this anywhere else on the internet. Like. How has no one come across these things or thought to share them with the world? So yeah, if you like this video or learned something new or think you're going to find it useful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you can see when I post a video next. Give it a thumbs up and comment down below your movie theater hacks if you have any. Because the brother's down for the movies. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these tips. Hit up the movies, buddy your popcorn for free, get a free water, skip the lines, enjoy your time. Rest your feet. Have a great time at the movies. And I'll see you next time I decide I should make a video. Because I don't do that very often. Hi!